Another humble bundle, VFX Overload. I don't want to get too bogged down with all of the humble bundles. I want to let you guys know about them, but I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time on this one. So this one is 52 items. You get it for £22 and 12p or whatever that is in your local currency. It goes to One Tree Planted and it's visual effects, two environments, a bunch of decals. And a lot of these aren't new to Humble Bundle. They're not first time. But if you missed out before, then it might be worth you picking them up this time round. But I expect that they will also come back as well because they've been around a few times i already had four of these if i look at the person's fab store where they are because you redeem the codes on fab it's basically their entire library of stuff other than their bundled stuff so this is the bundle but i've got all of these assets that are inside the bundle i'm going to take a quick look at some of them but first before that let me just say huge thank you to everyone that's been watching and supporting our videos it's been absolutely crazy thank you so much i know i say this every video and but i super appreciate you guys special shout out to our members we got dev danny diggs imagine bravery and phoenix studios thank you guys so much for being members it's hugely appreciated everyone's support is invaluable and i appreciate it so much thank you some of them so this is the screen vfx this is one that i quite like here we have a frost screen effect here we have a dirt screen effect and then broken glass so these are pretty cool it's cool that you also get all of the textures so for broken glass it's about 18 different versions that you can customize that as you want because it's a material instance of broken glass we can change the broken glass to be number 18 and that would have changed it in our level as well so there we are with it over there so that's pretty cool it's good to know and to have a play with next we have car vfx this isn't a huge vfx pack there's about six in here nitros going like sh shooting back i'm not a car person it makes the car go really fast go faster flames so if you're building a car game well hats off to you because that's that's not something i've even looked at and i will be interested to see how you go explosion vfx different types of explosions just remember guys cool guys they don't look at explosions so those are cool those would be cool in your cinematics then we've got magic cast vfx and i've also put the decals in here as well so if you want some pentagon pentagrams or pentagons or whatever the hell they're called then you can have those as well these are just decals that you can move around and these are niagara effects there are some other niagara effects similar to this that i do like a little bit better in this pack i'll show you those as well then we've got shields shields is cool lots of different types of shields showing different uh, effects including a gas shield what is a gas shield how the gas would have to be super dense right but then you choke and die. Okay, someone can tell me how a gas shield would work. That that would be super cool. Bubble shield and water and fire and stuff. So VFX on that look nice. And then we've got the tavern. A couple of bits in this I like. I really like this uh, sky sphere. This moon is actually uh, a static mesh that's provided, which is nice. Mountains are nice and then this is just a tavern. This Niagara effect is really cool, but it's not really possible to expand it over the entire thing, which is a bit frustrating. But it's cool to go in here. Scale wise, I checked it, it was fine. These stairs don't let you climb them, but it does have an upstairs as well. And the overview. There's the moon. You don't normally get provided a moon. That's cool. Here's the props. It's not a huge pack. Uh, the fact that these windows are merged together is a bit weird, but you do get this single window over here that you can use as well. This is the skill set VFX that I mentioned earlier was the other pack that had skills in. I like this one better. It's got different sorts of things in, but these hand spells are really nice. These cast spells are cool. 
oil, different lightning spells, aura spells when you're powering up, rune spells, and ground spells as well. There are some ground VFX in here that I've not put into my layer in into the project. So for when you're like smashing on the ground, ground impacts and stuff like that, there is this cool radiation effect as well. There are some 2D effects in here, so we can see all these smoke. This is a 2D effect. There's about five 2D packs in here, I believe. Uh, uh, six even. Six stylized smoke packs that you get as part of this bundle. Don't know how much smoke you're going to use. Am I going to catch smoke for this video? We bad joke. And then Vampire Layer. This is a very small demo map. Doesn't really show you very much uh, in here. But it's cool for a boss level, I suppose. You'd probably just be better using the props and the overview map to build something. Although there's not a huge amount of props in here. Like there's like six landscape props and the rest are smaller props that you could get or model. Is your lot nice and quick. There are some stuff that we're not covered in here. So there's the realistic blood decals and the magic decals. A lot of the magic stuff is more of the same stuff. There's some stylized uh, fire and lightning in here as well. And then some realistic weapons VFX too. Magical staff, element auras. So there's lot, lots in here that you uh, could get. But is it worth the £22 and 12p for it? If you already had a lot of these, probably not because uh, they feel kind of duplicate -y. if you didn't have any vfx and you're looking to get some vfx and you're trying to make some rpg type game this is probably worth your money environments wise meh we're probably talking like a two or a three out of ten i'm not high on the environments here at all although i did like the setup for the tavern with its level vfx wise there's a nice variety but they lean very heavily to the rpg element rather than anything else which makes sense because rpgs require a lot of sort of vfx there is quite a broad range there's the radiation one which is nice gas explosion etc and elemental spells and ground ground element the ground vfx are nice as well so that's probably going to sit a six to seven out of ten especially the 2d stuff as well that makes it a little bit more value decals wise I'm not bothered about decals at all, so I wouldn't even be bothered scoring them. Wouldn't be able to give them a fair score. But they do get the weapons VFX as well. So overall, this pack is sitting either like a three or a four if you've got a lot of the stuff already, or it's going to be a six, seven, maybe a seven and a half if you don't have a lot of this already. So. Let me know what you guys think, and as usual, thank you very much for watching, and have a great weekend.